Yeah, we're doing. Hello, hello, everybody. Yeah, for sure. Uh, j j just uh, uh, one one very important thing here uh, about the, the the roadmap of the project uh, is the the big picture is uh, that we are make some kind of uh, totally revamp of the project in order to launch it, uh, the version three. Uh, and, and this, uh, yeah, of course, uh, sometimes uh, takes time. You, it's not something um, very fast. We we are doing a lot of factors, uh, and uh, you can know you can see uh, projects like uh, Code Sandbox that uh, launched uh, a new version yesterday and took uh, one year to to make this uh, totally refactoring uh, with uh, almost 30, 13 people and, and a lot of investment. And we are just uh, three guys trying to, to make this just by ourselves. So uh, this took a, a, a little bit time to, to do, but we are now very focused in, in launch this new version that is, uh, will be more uh, the couplet for, for uh, from a couple of things that we have uh, in, in the in behind scenes, uh, but uh, ju just just the big picture about that is that uh, we have a great whole map and, and Renato uh, can talk a little bit more better technically uh, about it. Yeah, for sure. Um, so as Pedro was, we're talking about. Um, just a second. We're talking about um, we intended to launch um, very sooner. Um, um, unfortunately, I can um, I can predict exactly where it's gonna be, but uh, we're, we're we're making all the efforts and um, you know the necessary efforts for uh, leveraging the the doxy uh, into the version tree because. Uh, one of the problems that are gonna that have been noticed on some I'm, I'm new contributor in Doxis as well, so I have been working in Doxy for over five months, I guess. And um, from my first from my first interaction of the project as as a maintainer, um, especially as a contributor, was the the you know the the essence of the project and how we, how the essence. Um, from the future was responding to you know the user functionalities. So uh, from my first day, I started to look out um, you know what were the problems that you know most of our users were having um, when they're trying to use the Oxy for their own purpose. So when I just started to look out, we just started to notice as well that a lot of people ha were, were was having um, similar problems. Even though they were pretty slightly different, they were like very similar technically, because you know some fundamentals that we you know that we introduced in on Daxi that Pedro introduced it from all you know their their thoughts and ideas for for making you know Daxi born. Uh, they were like they they made all the all, all the they made all the difference for for making the project uh, works. But in a higher higher scale, as the project uh, it is right now, uh, we're, we're starting to have a couple problems of you know, uh, leaving a lot of flexibility and autonomy for our users because we're not we you know, given you know a a proper API to make our users actually use Doxy as uh, as it's supposed to be used. So, um, within the other contributor. And um, call it Mateus. Well, we're starting to um, try to understand um, how Doxy should look like for the for the for the users in terms of the API and the roadmap that we just started to scratch was entirely related to how our packers uh, uh, were going to uh, to interact to each other and make all the things. Um, Make all the things that the Doxys try to expose and um, you know give off um, and, and give to our users in terms of features. Uh, so 
we started to understand that uh, the way that all those packages were interacting to each other, they were um, they were pretty much technically done, but not entirely made for you know a user friendly um, API for users, you know, manage that and also contribute. So maybe the that that actually was the first milestone that we that we we draw for. You know, for this uh, roadmap plan, and that that's also you know the first thing that we started to work on, and that's pretty much uh, uh, our you know biggest milestone because we're basically moving code across the package and writing new packages. So uh, I can I can expose right now how those packages are gonna look like, but I can guarantee you that we have been basing on. We have been basing on the how how this, the structure of these packages on um, pretty solid other projects. So we're using like a couple benchmarks, uh, technical technical benchmarks for for making the um, for making these new structure works uh, works a little bit better for for users, and also to actually um, introduce more contributors in a easier way because. Right now, like we, uh, Doxy, uh, it's 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 really easy for users to use because Pedro actually uh, did a lot of you know cool stuff in terms of factoring how the packages um, interact to each other. Um, so there's like a big architecture. It's not like kind of tricky, but at the same time, there's a lot of code making that happen behind the scenes. So we, we don't want to like revert that when I actually keep doing that. So we want to uh, want to keep doxing being easier for the users, but to be even easier, what we need to, you know, um, change how the packages look like. So that's pretty much the first thing that you're going to notice when you're going to be able to use the first, uh, the first versions of um, version three, uh, the first releases of version three. So basically, what I can, you know, maybe share uh, that is gonna be like, um, um, that that I'm pretty sure that is gonna that that how's gonna be the the version three is that we're going to add, um, you know, proper packages that are gonna use for using Doxy. So uh, we're not gonna have to use, uh, you know, not gonna have to add a lot of extra dependencies. But we're gonna have to uh, clarify the kind of things that we're actually doing for using the project. So what that means, right? In, in, in the real products is that you now, right now, you just add Doxy as dependency, and you're just starting to use that, and that's pretty pretty easy. But what you want to do is actually introduce an npx init for do npx Doxy with a init script that you're actually gonna add the dependencies that's going to be needed for the project and and also you're not going to be using anymore like everything from the oxy you're going to be actually you, you're going to be able to choose um the patches that you want to use because the oxy is pretty extensible you know like you don't necessarily need to use everything from the oxy you can use a small parts so that's why you're not or or, or making like we're speeding up the packers into different parts um accordingly to the architecture fundamentals that doxy has so pretty much like uh so you're probably got you're probably gonna know it as like a doxy cli a doxy react and that's gonna be using and um, you know in a daily basis for making the project works um fundamentally those packages is gonna be uh is gonna be pretty pretty um um Unify it in a singular architecture, and you want to share the, all this architecture, all this content that uh, Pedro draw a couple of years ago, and you and and, and how we're like we're moving to uh, different way, but it's still keeping the same idea for actually making our you know our users not not um, just you know simple users, but most likely uh, contributors to the project. So we wanna make, maybe, maybe that's probably uh, our, you know, highest goal uh, to that first, to the to the version three release. 
is make the project easier for you know accepting new contributors. So we want to make a, a API not just for not just an API for end users, but also for the contributors that I want to bring to the project because uh, one of the probably one of the you know uh, bad things right now it's around the project it's it's not many people has the knowledge has the, like and, and and has the 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 you know the the clear ability I guess for you know walking through the code of Jackson and actually making changes there and it's kind of tricky for us as well to share how all those things work because it's not just like, like you're not just like sharing how those things works but it, it's it's not just expose the code and you know go this way or go this way because a lot of things actually has changed over the years and in a way that we couldn't like um that we couldn't um you know hold on i guess like in, in terms of api in terms of features um so basically what i'm gonna one of the you know our biggest um biggest goals it's make the the project a little bit easier for new contributors and for doing that we're gonna to change how the packages looks like also one of you know the most resilient changes they're gonna add to the project it's how our building and our our building process of those not just for those packages but but also but also how releases are made for the project so we're gonna automate basically everything to make easier for you know contributors release new versions and even for us because uh or, um you know i can i can tell you myself like it has been a little difficult for me to release the packers so we basically want to work on that to make like uh to make a pipeline automated pipeline to release new versions on github actions probably uh and integrated with circle ci much probably um but we want to make all you know everything around works independently and automatically uh, for you know, for making the project even faster to release new versions, because um, from the version three on, uh, we really want to like make new releases. Probably, uh, if that if it, it does make sense, um, in in some case, we probably want to also add like uh, not just like automatic release based on you know based on on um, every single change, but also like um but also like related to um uh, significant signif significantly uh um other significant changes as well so um what that means is like uh we want to we want to release every single change that are going to add to our main branch but also like work and when I want to bring like the, the small different changes, small changes to contributors and actually um, give our, you know, core team more extra time to work in like and, and more futurely change, you know. So um, because uh, that that's also part of the, in the process of releasing version three, because we don't want to like release a version three and say to the committed, hey, that's all. That's how you're gonna use Doxy from now on, and you know don't uh, and don't complain if you don't if you don't like it you don't use it. That's not what we want as a team. So and for so for for doing the opposite of what I just describe it, we're we're going to actually uh, incrementally add a new versions of version three. So the first version of version three is not gonna be like the final version because we want to test because we have a lot of, you know, we have a lot of, um, you know, um, uncertainty of the things that we, we, we think that is actually a must for the project, but we can be sure until it's releasing to the, releasing to our users and actually having feedback for, from this user. So what I want to do is releasing the first, you know, the first couple changes, uh to version three and you actually get feedback from from the people that are using it so that's probably my my biggest wish right now for the people that are, are you know listening to us 
It's uh, also release version three. Please do use version three uh, because we're not going to add breaking changes. So we want to like keep thing, keep all the things working um, uh, as before, but at the same time with new, uh, with the new, with new, um, you know, with, with new approaches. So we're going to be still able to use uh, doxing the way that you're, you know, used to, but at the same time, going to be able to, you know, uh, use other things that are going to add for version three. So because we want to really want to, you know, get feedback from the users that are using um, um, Doxy on a daily basis, uh, because you want to go to the right direction. And for doing that, we, we need a feedback. We need a, you know, releasing loop feedback. And also, and probably one uh, also one of the biggest changes that are gonna add to the project, um, it's related to how we're supporting Gatsby on the project over the project. So right now you have uh, full fully autonomy to use Doxy, uh, use Gatsby on Doxy underneath in your own way, and. We started to, you know, get from the issues that we have right now because most of them are related to, you know, a specifically use case that were added on uh, to, you know, to make the Gatsby works integrated with the components you have your code base. So for doing that, e most of our users needed to add extra dependencies, Gatsby dependencies to Doxy for making. Uh, uh, extra dependency to your project to make Doxy works with your code base. And we started to understand that's that's not sh how it should be done because you're if you're using Doxy, it should work as you know as properly with your code base. Once you tell us once it once you tell us um the kind of things you're 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 using. So um what I'm trying to say is one example maybe it's a clear way to say that uh, if you're using styled components and a Babel runtime plugin to make you know styled components be uh, more efficiently made on the on, on the final build, you're probably using a Babel plugin connected to your code base. So when and and when you add Doxy to actually read your components, compile your components, and you know making your and making the docs of those components of these components um you're gonna have to add some extra dependency to doxy act also accept this is tyler this is tyler components thing when this is strictly change how doxy you know it's allowed to to read that so we don't want to make you a worse experience anymore for you know only reading your components the, the your code base components so basically what you want to add to doxy it's a way, it's a better API in your Doxy RC, which is your configuration file from Doxy. A way, uh, API, uh, um, um, you know, a high level API to make you able to tell us which kind of things you're using in your code base to make Doxy works as, pro to make Doxy works as properly with your Ethereum components. So, uh, and for doing that, we're gonna have to, um, um, bring up to our code base um, the Gatsby features and a couple, uh, and then introduce to your users also um, uh, uh, first layer API to to interact with Gatsby uh, in a different way. So uh, what I'm trying to say is one of our biggest goals to the future. Um, I guess I really need to tell tell you guys right now. Uh, even though, because, because either way, you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to share that anyway. So, uh, one of the things that I really wanna bring to the project is a way to avoid your users to struggle and get problems because you're using Docs. So, we don't wanna you um, using, we don't wanna you using um, Gatsby files in your project if you're not using Docsing at all. If you're not using Gatsby at all. So if you're using Doxy, you need to adapt Doxy to work in your code base. And so you're, you only should be working on Doxy configuration 
And even though we're a zero configuration uh, library and we're still gonna, you know, keep being a zero configuration library, we're still wanna, we're still wanna uh, bring you uh, the autonomy and the flexibility for adding, you know, small, small different changes you have in your code base for making Doxy works as properly. So basically, um, if you don't wanna, uh, if you don't wanna customize your your Doxy or or you don't have anything slightly different in your code base, Doxy gonna work without any configuration file. But if you do, uh, or, or you don't wanna make a worse experience for you to actually add those, you know, the all those 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 um, building process. Um, you know the, those um, those those configurations. We do wanna make you do those configurations in your own code base. We wanna make you able to actually tell us through this API how it should be done. So we're doing it. And uh, uh, Renato, uh, I think that it's a good thing to to know here is uh, I have a uh, question. Uh, asking about the if you are if you uh, really maybe thinking about generating revenue with doxy and and yes this is a uh, uh, one of our plans and, and this is uh inside the, the all the things we are doing now like uh, have the factory and and try to to think how to expose this with marketing as well uh, so uh, it's a it's a plan for for the future uh, for the the future I think for, uh, uh, maybe start to to try to think about revenue because uh, this will be uh, a great thing um, uh, because of uh, to keep project more active and, and to to be better for us uh, be able to work uh, just in, in the project and not. Uh, split our time with a lot of things. So, uh, yes, uh, have plan. We have plans for for that. It's a good point, um, Pedro. Because probably um, that's why we're working on version three, because we're we have been thinking since last year, right, Pedro, about new products that we could launch with Doxy, and the version three was needed for that. Specifically because you would have other problems to actually, uh, so it, it could be done accordingly, but we kind of decided for you know leveraging the project in the open source first and actually starting to get feedback and understand how our users are actually using that and how we can make this experience even better. So, yeah. So and just for finishing out, maybe like. My, my final point about version three roadmap, it's uh, we're, we're going to update our Gatsby, uh, all, all, all the Gatsby architecture, all the, the, the version of Gatsby. So we're going to update to the version four, I guess. It's for, it's at the end of version of Gatsby. And, and that actually already has been done in a different branch where we kind of started this work. And it's not gonna be that that difficult. So, but at the same time, we don't wanna we don't wanna bring that up in the in the first versions of version three and the first versions of version three because you don't wanna like um, start a version three breaking a lot of your projects. So we wanna get feedback first and starting to introduce um, um, smaller things of the new Gatsby version. But that's going to be a, a real change for us because new Gatsby uh, versions has uh, a better, you know, a better support for um, uh, for 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 you know all all the how the the things works inside of, of Gatsby, especially about the data and the components, how it's you know, and the plugins and all this on how those things works together. So yeah, so we're planning to uh, to update Gatsby, but one of the things that I want to uh, keep you guys updated, maybe that's probably one of my goals here, 
it's uh, even though we're going to update Gatsby, that shouldn't be um, a problem anymore for you if you're not, because you're if you're using Doxy, even though you're you know you're being supported by Gatsby, we still don't want to make you like you know too dependent from Gatsby uh, because you're using Doxy. So, so uh, one of the things that um, Pedro has made um, from the first version, uh, ver um, from the first, from the very first releases on Doxy, and I still want to make it even better. Is how Doxy is not like is not um, is not close. I think is not close entirely close to Gatsby, even though Gatsby does a lot of thing underneath. We still want to make Doxy works even even more, you know, autonomously from Gatsby. So we want to introduce the features that Docs properly does instead of you know just exposing the features that Gatsby does. So basically, what I'm trying to say it's if you're using get if you're using Doxy from version three on, we're just gonna be using Doxy and and Gatsby is is, is you you only gonna be a per dependence on the tree in nothing and nothing more and so because we want to make doxy um even you know a better a better tooling for yourself so um that's why we're, we're kind of working on that and so i don't know i didn't notice the other questions but i hope i exposed entirely roadmap for the for for the first version of version for the first releases of version three. Uh, yeah, that that's that's a couple. Yeah, there's a couple other questions uh, here. Uh, I don't know if you all, if you are seeing, but in the Q and A, uh, Ted has three another one. Um, and how uh, uh asking about uh, good first first issues uh. And, and indeed, we don't have uh, a lot of good first issues, mainly because of this entire uh, reconstruction of the, the architecture. And this breaks and mess in, in a lot of uh, things inside the project. So uh, good first issues is uh, more complicated now. Uh, but we want uh, and we need a lot of uh, support uh, in, in terms of um, helping us uh, to 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 got the 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 issues and so maybe the community don't don't get the the appearance to be stale. This is a very good uh, important thing. So uh, we we need a lot of help here. So uh, maybe after the version three, we we will have more uh, very good first issues way but that's a good point uh i even forgot to add an extra an extra change that i'm gonna to add for version three so one of the things that we're gonna introduce is a way to actually uh get contributions from the community because uh remember that i just say that we're going to add uh a first layer API to interact with Gatsby underneath. So basically what we're gonna do on our configuration file, if you need to, is uh, plugging in or plugging out the things that are using your code base. For example, I'm using C, uh, C, S, S, C, S, S, for example, or using, um, I don't know, like um, I'm using, is valid. I don't know uh, using React actually, but you're using I don't know any kind of different things on your React code base, and and so you want to plug that on 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 Doxy for making Doxy able to read your components, and so we'll, you know you're gonna be able to only import your components and you know interact with them through MDX files. So for doing that, we're gonna have to add a couple integrations from Doxy with Gatsby. So initially we're gonna add like the, the default ones that we just noticed on the issues that most people, you know, has to add for, for their Gatsby configurations. But futurally we expect to, uh, to make a way 
uh, with the version tree to other people are also add those, those integrations for their own. So what I'm trying to say is we're going to add a workflow, literally a workflow, a contributing workflow for other people add their own integrations. So I would say, for example, uh, if you're if you're just launching a new tooling for React that makes you know CSS faster, I don't know, it's you know runtime faster or something. And if you're just launching a project and the and the project it's um, uh, became becomes a a hype into the community, uh, and you know the people using Doxy want to use that, you're gonna be able. If you want to use like Doxy and this new project, you're gonna be able to add an integration for that uh, in, inside of Doxy, and you're gonna add, and you're gonna guide you to uh, you know through um, through a workflow how you're gonna do that. So basically, we're, we're going to add um, and this first layer. You're gonna interact with a second layer, I would say, and the second layer it's literally something that everyone in the project could be able to do so that's probably going to be like our first good issues on version three because we want to like make a way uh, create a way to you know create integrations as easy as possible and yeah so one of the things that i want to introduce is a way to um get more contributors in an easy way and yeah it's it's pretty exciting yeah sure uh, that, uh, I will skip two questions, then we can go back here. But uh, there's a very good question here about uh, first open source project. It's most related to how to create a, an open source project or this type of thing. I mean, like, is, uh, what's your journey to becoming a maintainer? Uh, this, uh, I think that I'm, I'm always uh, try to, to talk about that. Uh, open source is the best way in order to study, to learn, and to get visibility in, in some community, uh, in our case, in JavaScript community. So open source is uh, the best way for for do that in order to, if you want to have references or if you want to have more visibility in some community, open source is the, the best way for that. So but have a lot of people that uh, get some kind of scared, uh, get a, a lot of fear in order to create some some open source project because uh, think that need to be the best project or maybe uh, got a little bit ashamed to launch something. And in fact, uh, this needs to be uh, more easier for you. So if you uh, like working in a project and you see uh, that have some problem you can uh, resolve creating uh, a small project, even a small project, uh, start to create this project and create some kind of uh, mentality uh, around the source uh, will bring you uh, to make easier uh, in order to create projects or maintaining or collaborative uh, other projects. Uh, in the last uh, week, I think it was in the last week, I launched a very small project uh, called Space Fold. Uh, is my in my GitHub. Uh, I can I can get the link here. Uh, Space Fold. Uh, after uh, oh, it's, it's wrong. Just a second. Space Fold. Yeah. Here, yeah, the the right one, uh, and and just uh, it's it's just an example of what uh, happens here. Uh, I'm posting uh, a Twitter uh, talking about some pattern that I'm using a lot in my project. That is uh, pub sub uh, publishing sub uh, and subscriber uh, pattern. Uh, this is a pattern that uh, I'm I'm have been using. In, in a lot of projects, and it's a very, very small uh, implementation of PubSub using React. It's uh, it's something that, for me, uh, resolves a lot of communication problems that React brings for us, like 
sometimes you need uh, a lot of drug dealing or, or contests or atomic key estates or a state management library just in order to to make a, a small change so if you have like a, a module or a, a piece of your software in, in the corner and you have another module totally separate in, in another corner and you want to communicate between this uh this module sometimes it's very hard to do that with react and um you need to create a state managed library of this type of thing. Or if you have a external library that you want to communicate with your components or, or make some kind of a communication in your application, this is sometimes became very harder. Uh, I know that React has all this unidirectional flow and all this type of thing, uh, I know, but this is a part in that uh, I have been using a lot in, in, in my project. And I just made a simple tweet about uh, this pattern. And this tweet got hyped a lot that have more than uh, 400,000 uh, uh, impressions and got almost two, uh, 2,000 likes. Uh, with a, a, a very, very hype tweet. I don't know why, because it was just a simple uh, code. Uh, uh, just a simple image of the implementation, but people uh, ask me a lot about this this implementation. And just in few hours of my day, I I, I take few hours of my day, and I, I publish the the project. Just uh, I'm going to uh, in another project, uh, another small library, fork the library, see about the the. Some things like uh, tests and, and JavaScript, and have a lot of boilerplate uh, repositories that you can uh, get in order to publish your your library. So uh, I just saw a small uh, opportunity. I just saw a small uh, uh, pattern that I was using, and and I thought that oh maybe this uh, can become uh, uh, open source project. So I just make the, the publication. It's there. It's have, a, I don't know, more than 10, uh, 10 uh, stars, not a big thing. Have a lot of other projects like uh, like it. But the, the thing here is uh, just just great. Just make your uh, project, post on Twitter, post on whatever you want. Uh, this will become uh, more friendly to you. Uh, when you want to contribute to open source and, and became like a maintainer. The hard part of that uh, is uh, when the project goes to the, the moon like Doxy and starts to, uh, to have so many demands and this uh, starts to become more uh, complex because uh, you know, in, in open source, you have a lot of companies using the projects, but you have you don't have so much companies uh, contributing and supporting the project. So uh, the, the the hardest part is not to create or or uh, or launch some project. Is the journey to be a, a maintainer. This is is the the hardest thing. So. Uh, this, uh, I think that was one of the biggest thing uh, happened to me in order to, uh, uh, after uh, Docs go to, to the moon, it started to, to be so big. Uh, one of the, uh, I got a, a lot of heifers. I was invited to work in a lot of place. A lot of people started to know me. Uh, I, I got a lot of followers and all these things that when you uh, when you launch something that is is hype or when you got reference and uh, hype in the community and this this is something that happened and and, and cool but I, I, the most important thing for me uh, of course was this history that. Uh, was posted in the in the GitHub history because it was some something like a an accomplish for me. Uh, I think I have just one 
Brazilian guy there, or I don't know if I have any Brazilian guy there. And I, I was maybe the first or the second guy in the GitHub histories and has just uh, a little bit, bit more than uh, 13 uh, people, 13 histories. Now maybe have uh, uh, almost 14 histories. So in, in all projects in the GitHub, in all programmers in the world, all uh, people, I must choose it. And, and this was uh, very accomplished for me. This was something like, uh, I'm very proud uh and uh when you when you got uh this attention when you got uh, uh, a project biggie and you you have a history to share about it like i, I had in, in for doxy uh this could bring uh other opportunities for you uh but you always need to keep uh your mind and your health uh, in a way, in order to don't mess and don't uh, be uh, like a guy that just work or just uh, think about open source. And this is the hardest thing, uh, thing like uh, I, I mentioned, but uh, in fact, the, the history uh, was uh, very, very, very uh, good for me. What would you suggest for some contributor, uh, contributors to start their journey with open sourcing? Uh, I, I think that uh, just start to contribute is the best way for uh, entering in the world of open source. Start to contributing, uh, not just with code, but start to contributing in, in any way. Uh, you have a lot of documentation to write. We have a lot of uh, uh, issues to uh, to try to respond. We have a lot of uh, things to do in a open source pro project, not just uh, code. So people uh, stay so focused and contribute with code and forget to have other things that you can contribute. So uh, I'm always talking about that. The, the best way for you start and you enter in the open source world is uh, contribute in any way. So make some uh, typo fixing in a readme, uh, try to explain better and, and create a better readme for some project that you like it or you, you are using in your project. So if you, if you're developing a uh, software and you are you are using and you are using some libraries, uh, go to this library and check the readme of the project. See if it has some typo or if you, the readme uh, can be better. Uh, and start to contribute up this way. Then uh, start to um, to know and learn more about the the project, what the project is doing. Uh, behind the scenes, uh, try to to talk with the maintainers, try to to send a message, uh, uh, talk. Hey, I'm open to to contribute. This this type of thing is the best way in order to start. Uh, I think. That's a good point. Uh, I was thinking here, also. Um, you guys probably have no idea how helpful it is when someone actually go through the issues of a project. I mean, like from the maintainer point of view, when someone go through the issues of the project and actually help the people there. So like, because if you go through the issues of Doxy right now, and if you're using Doxy for, you know, a couple a couple of times, a relevant, relevant time, uh, you're probably going to be useful for, you know, helpful for someone there. And because you probably already had a problem that uh, the same problem that this person is having in that, in the same very moment and in, in the verse in that, in, in that moment. So uh, for the maintainer, it's pretty, pretty helpful when you go through an issue and you see that other people of the community is helping, uh, is helping each other. And, and and you can just like you know drop off your thoughts and and say hey this person is right and go through his solution 
and you know like it makes a lot of the maintainer uh, maintaining life easier and you know um, and better to actually keep focus on on making the project better because at least for me the hardest part to maintain a project it's keep up it's keep updated I, I mean it's it's something that is really difficult for me personally I guess it's like keep updated uh, with the issues at the same time you're like leveraging the project so for me like if I'm doing one thing it's kind of, it's quite difficult to do the other so because uh, for doing that I would have to work more than I work in my own job and that's not helpful eventually it's necessary but it's not help it, it's not um, healthy that's the word so eventually it's necessary but it, it sometimes it's not healthy um, so so if you know if you want to contribute to a project go through the issues and see the the kind of problems that other people are having and how you can help them out um you know uh, w with the things that already has uh, faced it before but yeah the dark sea has a lot of these issues so if you want to contribute go there yeah. we're going to be pretty glad for that and, and that's uh, another question here is uh, talking about the happiness and uh, in the dark sea in the, in the Z. <laughs> it's, it, it has a Jay-Z reference and, and this story is very bizarre because it uh, was something very simple. Uh, I, I tried to get, uh, I tried to got the Doxy with S uh, repository in the NPN, but uh, was taken and I, I, I'm, t I'm taught the, uh, what I need to do now because this name is already taken. So, oh, I would just, uh, uh, I would just replace uh, the S with the Z, and and I thought was well, very like Jay Z, <laughs> and, and and got so have the reference but not intentionally <laughs> uh, was just a simple replacement and that that make the reference. Uh, but after that, I I saw that oh it's very like Jay Z name. <laughs> it's something a little bit bizarre. Kind of thing that you don't think about, but then you see that that have. Yeah, uh, I'm working. Uh, uh, I I think that was maybe six months in order to launch the the project. I'm working uh, a lot of time, uh, thinking how to make a very good marketing, how to make it. Uh, very um, good at factory, how to make project very uh, decoupled from, from, from some things. And at that time was uh, a little bit harder because uh, we didn't have so much tools like we have today. Uh, and, and this is a very important thing here because uh, we, now, uh, we are now making uh, a lot of factors and one of the the main um, reasons that we are doing is because uh, the teams uh, now are evolving a lot and now have a lot of uh, uh, tools that uh, that does what uh, we uh, what I I needed to uh, to accomplish by myself in, in the past because in the past I didn't have any tool for for doing a lot of things like uh, compile MDX and, and this type of thing. When I launched the project, MDX was uh, already launched and, and it was in the very first beginning of the project. So I needed to, to make a lot of things by myself. And, and this was very helpful for me because I could learn a lot. I could learn uh, about a lot of uh, very, very, uh, hard coded things and very uh, uh, a lot of tools that was uh, just I, I just know that uh, they exist but then I, I started to learn and I started to learn uh, about more uh, the core concepts behind uh, a lot of hard uh, concepts like syntax uh, abstract tree and and compilers and this type of thing. This was very good for me at the time because I could learn a lot. And, but now 
uh, we need to change and we need to uh, uh, remove this 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 tools because we have uh, new things that are doing the the job now. So this is uh, the main challenge uh, I got it uh, when I launched the the project and. Uh, just making a link with uh, another thing that uh, the guy put here in the, the chat is uh, what if we are not worthy of helping currently? And uh, as I mentioned, uh, have uh, a lot of uh, place and a, a lot of ways you can uh, be worthy. Uh, I think that uh, if you want to learn about something, uh, uh, you can start in the in, in the most simple place of the the project. So I think all people is worthy if you if you can. So if you want and if you can, uh, I think that you will be very worthy uh, because how we mentioned have a lot of ways you can uh, help. In some project. Mm, that's a there is a good question. What are some of the open source contributions the guys would love to see for Doxy from our side? That's a good point. Honestly, maybe the you know the most impactful uh, contributions that we could have from the from the user land. Uh, for the from from the you know from from the community in general, I guess, uh, would be um, closing the issues we have, and uh, with you know uh, with um, and some with small solutions, simple and small solutions for the problems of these people are having. I know that sound that that might sounds uh, a little tricky, but. Uh, eventually, for us, it's 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 really um, it's really hard to actually you know find all the solutions for the problems that people are having right now in the project because we're definitely like uh, running out from these problems in a different way, um, and and eventually we and and most of the cases are we don't have like you know the in the same very moment the the, the right solution for the problem. And we, because mostly because we can run out on the, you know, on the problem that this person is having. Uh, what I mean is like, uh, you know, trying to reproduce the error uh, from this person. Because if we do that, we're gonna like, we're, we're not gonna have time for actually working in the new version three because like we're just mounting, uh, working towards like a big change direction. So, if you want to like bring a lot of value for for us and for the project, it definitely is going to be like even reproduce the error, like you know, get some output, try to understand where the problem is, and try to walk through the code. That would be a lot of helpful. Like if you report on the issue, uh, that's going to be a lot of helpful for us to actually uh, go into the issue and, and 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 kind of find a simple solution to solve the problem in a short moment. So, um, and and, uh, and I think uh, even easier uh, uh, starts to helping us uh, just sometimes uh, answer some issues that uh, because we are more focused in created the the new version the new York Tetris, but uh, we don't have uh, all the time of the world, and sometimes uh, some issues. Uh, got lost and, and got without answer, and this brings this this uh, image of all oh, the maintainers is don't having uh, any work here because they uh, don't uh, don't answer any issue and sometimes just answer the issue uh, being the Slack with us and, and uh, be some kind of community manager uh, work. Uh, is 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 a lot is very helpful for for us as well because as mentioned uh, by Renato, uh, we are a small team with not so much time. We have our work as well, and 
and sometimes hard to manage all these things together. Yeah, of course. I, I think I have uh, time for uh, maybe one more question. No, uh, no. So uh, I think that uh, was that. Uh, I'm I'm really expected that we uh, we answered all your questions and, and if you want to talk with us or if you want to chat with us, we are very open to chat. Uh, you can uh, send us some tweet or you can talk with us in our Slack. Uh, I will post my tweet here if you want to to share with me. So send me a message. I'm very open to, to hear about anything you want. And I'm expecting to answer your questions. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I hope to see you guys on the Slack or over the GitHub. Or, and yeah, and feel free to reach us out. Uh, thank you.